in this video, I'm going to show you how to trace a football logo and bring it into Inkscape and separate the colors into layers. So the first thing you want to do is go to Google, type in football logos, hit enter, click on images, find the logo that you want, click on that, and then when it comes up, right click and save image as. Choose a destination, give it a name, and click Save. And then you can close out Google, and we can get started in Inkscape. Now, if you remember from my previous videos when getting images off of Google, you want to make sure that their resolution is at least 500 by 500. So go to File, Import. Find your logo, click on it, and click open. When this box comes up, click OK. And then go to Path, Trace Bitmap, and this box will come up. And yours will look like this if you haven't used it already and this will be blank. So you want to click on Colors, Uncheck Smooth, check Scans, Stack Scans, sorry, and check Remove Background. Now I have three colors, white, black, and blue. So I'm going to lower this to three and click Update. If I see all my colors there, I'm going to click OK and close out that box and it traces on the top. So left click and drag that off and click on your original image. Make sure it says image down here at the bottom and then click delete. Now, if you notice, you can see this page border through the white. That's because in Inkscape, white is transparent. So we need to fill that in. So the first thing you want to do is deselect everything with this button here, or you can click off on your page somewhere. And then we need our paint bucket, which if you don't see it here, you can click on these two arrows and grab it from the drop down. I like to use the keyboard shortcut, which is the letter U. And then choose your color. You might need to zoom in left click and fill in all the white areas and then go to your selection tool hold your shift key and select all those colors and then go to path combine that puts them on one layer now click on your other image and ungroup it I do it two times, sometimes three, until it says no groups down here, okay? And then you can see if you have all of your layers. Here's my black, here's my blue, and here's my white. This white is transparent, so you can see through it. So then you can hit, hold the control key down and hit Z until it all gets back where it needs to be. And then left click and draw a box around it all. And it'll say three objects because I have three colors. And you can group those together by this button right here, or you can go object group or control G, whichever is easier for you. I like to use all these buttons up here because they're very quick and they're handy. And then I'll resize it by holding the control key down to keep the proportions intact. And then I'll go to File, Save As, find a destination, give it a name, and save it as a plain SVG. And hit Save. And that's it. Then when you bring it into Design Space or whichever program it is that uses SVGs for a cutting machine, 
then you will have your three layers or how many ever layers it is that you had. So I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video.